Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're gonna go over how you can run an Isolation Vault on Necrolisk Deimos in order to farm a Necromech. I just got up an updated 2024 Necromech farming video, so I thought, hey, we'd go over and run the actual Isolation Vault so people could see how you can run the mission to get the Necromech as well fully. It's a very simple and easy mission overall. You just need to queue in. You can always queue into Publix and it'll be fine. Just fast travel on, and of course you have to unlock Deimos, do the Heart of Deimos quest, unlock that planet, everything like that, okay? So go on over to uh, Mother, and then just straight up go to Bounties and run Iso Vaults. We're gonna run Isolation Vault Tier 3, but you can always, of course, run Tier 1 or 2 if you're farming for certain parts or certain other things, um, the Arcanes, uh, mods, right? So remember that, I have no need for that really. So we're gonna run Isolation Vault Tier 3. Tier 3 is the best to run if you want to run it in order to farm the Necromech, like I think damage parts that drop from the Necromechs because there are three Necromechs in the Tier 3, two in Tier 2, and one in Tier 1. Bring along generally any build weapon setup and you're probably all good to go. I don't, I think I turned it on public, but maybe I didn't. But that's fine. We can run it solo and just chill. Anyways, step one, create door by collecting wire bait. It's pretty simple. You just have to go to where the markers indicate, okay? That's all you have to do. And then you collect it. Oh, I think it shows that there might be some more there. Yeah. Just pick it up, shoot it, pick it up. Grab all of the bait. One at a time. Right? Pretty chill, pretty simple. Boom, boop, 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 boop. I do have specters that are always fun to use just so that I can pay less attention. Uh, where's the other one? Right? It's fun looking for these little globules. When you have more people, you have to find some more worm bait. Wyrm, Wyrm. But it doesn't really take that long, right? Because it spawns enough no matter what. So I think it might be a guarantee. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think you get guaranteed like Vome or Fast. No, you do. You get guaranteed Vome residue from that. So it's actually not bad if you want some Vome slash Foss residue. Depending on uh, day time cycle, of course. Now, this is the Necromech. You just have to defend the bait station for a minute and a half. Fairly easy. I know, I know. You can chill as a Necromech if you've already unlocked it, but of course, if you're looking to unlock a Necromech, you know, Void Rig maybe, or Bone Widow, maybe you only need one. But you can use mechs everywhere on Deimos, open worlds, so it's really not that bad. Necks are incredibly overpowered, you can always use just skills, abilities. It is Deimos, so turrets are still good, burn through their health if they're shielded burn through a little bit of their shield. You can always throw on all in call crew or something. And or specters. I still have those. I just forget to use them a lot of the time. Oh, it's nice. It's a calm mission. And it only takes, I think, around 10 to 15 minutes. We are going to do the entire isolation vault, which means at the end of the isolation vault, you find a vault. Okay. And from there you complete a task and open said vault. And yeah, you get more loot if you open the vault and that's why we're gonna do that, okay? It's, it's very easy. You just have to essentially follow the symbols that pop up first and then repeat them by shooting them. It's just like, a, can you remember what just happened and then repeat it? And hopefully you can. Oh no. A little bit rude of the game to like stun lock you there. I thought <laughs> it made me invincible, so it wasn't bad, but I was like, uh, I don't want to die. Pick up the bait, as you can see, and walk down to the ISO vault. I'm, uh, there we go. I was just choosing the faster route. Middle mouse button, throw it, and the Deimos butthole opens up. Because that's essentially what that is. It's a little shfinkty. Okay, now you spawn in here. And all you have to do is survive. It's good to throw an on-call crew. Legit just survive and kill all the enemies and you're good to go. You don't even have to kill that much. Because so many enemies spawn. 
that you just have to go find and kill a handful of those enemies that drop the uh, reduced toxicity item. Right? Every time it pings them, you just go kill them. And collect the item. That's all you have to do. It's very easy. Once you have a good build set up uh, for it or anything, throw on any Deimos, sorry, infested, I should say, damage mods if required or needed. And just go buck wild, kill all the enemies. Yeah, it's pretty chill. You just, just throwing all my balls, right? My slashy damage balls. The Necromax actually have a lot of damage reduction, so it is a little annoying fighting them. But you should shoot out their individual limbs to do more damage, okay? Warframe supports limb destruction. Oh, it's the same with this dude. Shoot out those big bulkish shoulders. Right, it's just like a little arena to kill a bunch of infested. You just go through it. Slaughter the enemies. And then the next entrance but hole will open. See? And it lets you in. So there are now three necromechs that I have to look forward to kill. So I run in here. And I think it, yeah. The game is pretty much like, hey, find the dudes, and then you find them. Yeah, you can just get them killed pretty easily. I think that was my... Oh, that's what Scintillant looks like, by the way. It's floating around here and there. If you ever need it for build materials. Okay. Now, we got Orc and Build Matrix from that. Not too shabby. Follow the ping markers to kill all of the mechs. The Guardian of the Vault approaches. You must defeat it, Tenno. Ah, My turrets just destroy them. This might just be... Yeah, this is just like normal old vaults. You can also just shoot them with a gun, right? So it's not really terrible once you have some... Oh, right, we got damaged necromech weapon pods. Boop, behind my face. Look at that. And damaged necromech pods. Not too shabby. So now that we're done, we are done and we can go and complete the ISO vault. Or we can look for the entrance of the ISO vault, like vault itself. And we're going to do that. So there is a doorway, a big ass doorway, that contains the isolation vault, a uh, vault itself. It's probably over here, I would assume. But it could be in a lot of, like, end spots. Might not be here, right? Yeah, there's a dead end. So we're going to look around until we find it. Since it's not there, it's probably the only place we haven't looked, I think. Which was over here, right? Yeah. But you get the idea. It's probably at, like, the end of something. This is the isolation vault itself. Let me throw down a specter. The idea is simple. Go operator mode, hit this, it'll spawn Lloyd, protect him, come back, complete the door. The door is easy to complete if you know what to do, because all you have to do is copy the pattern that it shows you, and then you're good. It's just a match it. It pops up the symbols, and then you have to shoot them with your operator gun. In order, of course. Okay, I thought maybe shooting Lloyd uh, would do something. It did not. I'm gonna pull out the Necromech. The annoying issue is Lloyd and Otak take so much damage, and I'm really bad at defending them. So if you have a good defensive frame to bring, do it. He regens, so uh, you have moments of reprieve. So it's not as bad. I'm just bad. <clears throat> Right, it's not as bad, but I'm bad. That's why I spawned the Vapor Spectre, because I was like, uh... I need more... more friends to help. And as long as you protect your boy, should be okay for a while. Right, because I have a Proteus Spectre up there. Good Spectre, good Spectre.
God, he really loves taking such a long route. He's such a pain in the butt. Oh, he's already all the way over here. I think like these three are all closely um, matched together though, because there's like one here, one there, one there. So a lot of it's just like, oh, Lloyd, you're so slow, dude. Lloyd and Otak just being slow. Slow pokes, really. Just being a little slow, bro. Right, he goes there and he gets the other one over there. You can just kill them with your mech once you do that. It's always nice to have a defensive frame, so maybe Frost if you want to freeze enemies. All right. I, of course, love Protea. Makes it easier to throw my turrets up around here, at least. And it shows, I think, his little walking path of where he'll go. Oh my god. Buddy? Are you okay? Okay, I didn't like that. At least he's regening now, but like, shh, scary. That's why, that's what I'm saying. Like, he can just get bursted down. And I might be bad and not defend him properly. I don't want any of that. I want your boy to live. Live as long as he needs to. So that I can actually complete the mission. He also has a tendency sometimes to get stuck, so I'm really hoping none of that happens. Don't leave Lloyd alone like that. Oh god. Sorry, I'm like, the pressure's on. Right? It's just so close together. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you can shoot him with void energy. Okay, so now he's healing. Okay, we almost messed that up. I don't know if Void Energy instantly starts recharging him again, or if it does what, but... Yeah, Void Energy recharge, so you... It was scary, okay? It was scary right there. So much damage can get stacked up so quickly. So you see these symbols? They'll pop up on the door, and then you just match it. So I... Da, 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 da. Right, and then da, 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 da. So you just match it top to bottom, and then you're good to go. That is how you completely run an isolation bolt in Warframe. Tier three, get all the loot, and it's really good for the general Necromech farm, because as you can see, a lot of the items that I got from here are things you might need for building your Necromech, right? The biotic fuel, Dagonic. You just get a lot of like little pieces so it makes it easier for you to build your necromech. And since you have to run this to get the orc and matrix, matrix, matrices, matrices, no matter what, you'll have to run these, right? So try to do the bonus vault even after you like complete the mission, because if you don't, it's just kind of giving up resources. Would not recommend doing that. But if you're strapped for time, if you only need to farm the necromech, then there's no real need to farm the void rig itself. 
or sorry, the extra vault itself. If you only need to farm the uh, Void Rig Max for just standing or just the parts quickly, that's nah, a little different. I just want to jump out and we'll see the loot we collected. As always, if you want to support the channel, you can use the Epic Games creator code Pupsker, as I am an Epic partner, and check out all the socials. So, right, we got time it's right. We got some loot here. We did get our scintillant, spinal core, our uh, spo I don't know, sporulate sack. You do get your Warframe arcanes, but it takes so long to farm them. And then some general resource bionic, right? A couple damage parts, so Dagonic. More Terra Globe, like I said. Yeah, so that's all the uh, parts we got in one run. You just keep farming it, and that's how you get up your Necromech and a bunch of resources. So hopefully this helped, and if you want to check out the entire how to farm your Necromech video is my previous video. So yeah, you can just look for that or check it out if you want on the channel, in the playlist, anything like that. Thank you, thank you all. Sub like, and I will see you next time oh, with more random videos and stuff. Cheers.